All right, guys, in today's episode, we're going to uh, show you uh, what I got in shipment that came in shipping this week. Um, Happy New Year's. And also in this episode, I'm also going to talk about um, what I've learned in 2021 um, as a reseller in a market where it's super oversaturated, but at the same time, finding that niche and finding what you do great at. Uh, like I always tell y'all, at the start of every video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And then if you see anything you like, man, give me a comment. Definitely shoot me an email, and we probably could work something. All right, guys, so just finished printing the label. Let's see what came in. So we got a couple of good stuff. So I'm going to go through a breakdown of what I've got and what you see. All right, so I got these camo purple-looking um, type of um, Foam Posit Pros. Then I got a good deal on these Nike SBs. Then I got this FAMU colorway shocks, the third shoe. Um, you know I got right FAMU. It was a great deal. Then I got these Team Jordans, some black Harachis. And then y'all gotta know, I love Air Max 90s. I got a little good, decent deal. Um, the guy was trying to offer me $100. I was like, dude, they ain't not worth $100. And he gave me $20, $25 for him. It's a good cop this week. All right, so in this episode, I really wanted to talk to you about what I've, what I've learned in 2021 as a sneaker reseller, doing this both part-time and going into it full-time by 2023. Um, literally, this was a side hustle in college for me that I started back in 20, 2005. Um, so she knew I was in college. Um, so uh, I just want to go ahead and give y'all some quickly uh, some things I learned. Number one, um, enjoy the process. Um, enjoy the, the process of shopping. I truly am a sneakerhead. I collected shoes ever since I was in college when I could afford them. My parents didn't buy me the most expensive shoe. A lot of shoes that I got were always on the clearance rack. Uh, that was always $19.99 and, and, and $49.99 and two for $50. Of course, prices just change with today's economy, but enjoy the process. I really enjoy the process of like looking for shoes. Number two, um, I would definitely say is find a niche, one or two specific categories to focus on the niche. When you try to do multiple things and multiple venues and multiple categories that you are unfamiliar with, um, you won't make money. You will actually lose a lot of money because you're trying to just do what trends are. I know we got IG, I know we got Facebook, I know we got TikTokers. Everybody wants to do this, but trust me, find a niche that you're comfortable with. So my niche is footwear. I've been a retail store manager for over 16. Uh, I learned that in the process of footwear, footwear is something that's a good business, but so what's my category is athletic and fashionable apparel. Now, do I sell everything? No, that is not my niche. I'm not selling golf cleats. I am not selling football cleats because that's a different market. And the, 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 the ROI, return on investment, is super small. I like to shoot for 55% on return on investment. Certain categories only give you 10 to 12%. So if you want to be a guy that's been or girl that spends a lot of money with those categories, you can. But for me, I'd rather do a, a ROI that gives me anywhere between 40 to 55% return on investment. So definitely find your niche, okay? Number three is to honestly understand not every sale or transaction is for you. I'm gonna say that again. Not every sale or transaction is for you. So you can say no. Um, I've learned that when I was a sneakerhead, I would just buy shoes off the hype or I would buy shoes because I liked them or I wanted them myself. Um, I am out of that process. I buy only for the business. I buy whatever the trends are, but I buy also when I can get the biggest return on investments. So if you're trying to get in this business to make quick, fast money, you can. But let's be honest. How many of us have bought to buy our shoes on the native? The latest thank you release date. How many of us have um, employees that can wait in line for hours and go for raffles? So what you have to understand is that when you do make deals, um, you have to do the deals that fit you. 
And if it don't fit, pass on it. Trust me, in sneakers, everything is be retro. Why? Because it's a younger generation. Nike, Adidas, Asics, uh, Under Armour, all these big time companies have to recreate shoes again and make them popular so your kids' kids can buy them again. So what I've learned is I, if I don't get it this first go around, I'll get it in a couple of years. So I always remember that. Number four, I go straight into it. Don't be afraid to lose money. Don't be afraid to lose money. So you will make some great transactions you want. Um, I think my first open of my retail business, I put in $15,000 into my own money. You know how much I made that year? $2,000. And you might ask, how can you possibly do that? I was buying everything. I was trying to do multiple categories. I wasn't understanding the business. I was saying yes to every deal. And at the end of the day, with the expensive shipping, eBay call stores, PayPal fees, and thank God eBay removed PayPal. I love the process now. Um, I didn't make the return investment that I wanted. So remember that. You can say no, you can lose money, but don't be afraid it happens. It's a part of the growing in the process. And the last one, my number five, the biggest thing that I've learned is always reinvest back into the business. Always reinvest back into the business. Understand that. Always reinvest back into the business. So for me, if I made 100% profit, of course, now this is minus the fees, which is not a lot. eBay has changed its platform to compete with StockX and go. They do not charge you no fee for any shoes that sell over $100. So, of course, my price point is a, over 160% goes right back into the business. 40% goes into a personal account. So 60-40. That is the name of the game. Don't buy and make all this money and blow it. Now nah, 60 40. For every hundred dollars I make, 60 goes right back into the business. And that helps me buy more inventory. More products were a cool five things you got from me in 2021. Um, once again, it was what I've learned in my 16 years of retail, 16 years of working footwear. Put it all into my business. All right, once again, make sure you do these three things for me. Like, share, and subscribe, okay? Thank you for watching this channel. Y'all have a great day. And listen, be great. <laughs> this is